so what is going on guys welcome to today's video i know it's been over a little month maybe two months and that only is because i had ordered something on my birthday which was may 28th that barely came in like two days ago and we just went today to go pick it up and i already came back i didn't film going over there only because it was curbside and you know due to the current situation there wasn't much to see but we brought it back so let's go take a look at it right now so what we did end up getting what i bought myself for my birthday since i had just recently turned 21 i decided to buy myself my first handgun which happened to be a taurus i only went with taurus because after doing some research i found out that if you know this wasn't a bad brand let alone gun model to start off as your first handgun and it is a nine millimeter so I may or may not have opened it before. I'm going to check that everything was inside and get it registered for warranty and all that. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. All right, so once you open it up, I did take off all the wrappings and all that stuff like I told you. So it does come with the gun lock. The key is I think I have it inside because I had already locked it up. It is cleared already. As you can see, there's no nothing in the chamber, obviously. Uh, the funny thing about it is right now nine millimeter ammo is you know pretty much sold out everywhere online because i ain't trying to go to the store right now far away other than in my local city due to the pandemic stuff the key is right here but uh yeah so that will be interesting to uh, find because hopefully you know this will go away sooner or later so we can take this out to the range um it also did come with two mags as you can see here, this one is a 15, I believe. Yeah, it's a 15. And then the other one is a 17 round mag. Uh, it's pretty cool, it comes with two magazines. I mean, I'm not, this is my first weapon. So, I mean, I don't know what handguns I supposed to come with, but I know this is also pretty cool to come with. Again, I don't know if that's standard with every gun, but yeah, I mean, it is a pretty, pretty nice looking gun. I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. It was uh, about $200 and then what, tax and shipping and all that came out to the low 300s so not too bad i definitely like it uh <clears throat> later on i plan to probably attach a flashlight not to be one of those tactical people uh notice the pun there but yeah um hopefully to do some upgrades to it as well as uh probably fix the sights there i mean they're pretty it's a pretty cool white dot but i don't know we we can see what we can do there well, yeah, uh, that's what we ended up, what I ended up getting for my birthday. Um, something I always wanted. Obviously, you have to wait till you're 21. So, yeah, I uh, can't wait to take it out to the range, hopefully, probably with some buddies. And, uh, yeah, whenever it's safe to, because unfortunately, due to the current pandemic situation, you know, that's kind of hard to do. But, yeah, uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, and hopefully make more videos based off of this. I'll pack back in the box and if you thought I was just gonna be rambling on about this all video long well we are gonna get back to something but yeah I just wanted to send a shout out I'm not sponsored by them but if you want to sponsor me go ahead and do it but now in all seriousness I highly recommend the website I got this from I'll put the link down below it is Palomito State Armory uh, honestly I have no complaints from doing business with them at first I was you know kind of I've never ordered a gun online and you know reading some stories you know it's kind of hectic but with them it went smoothly uh, the comp the store that I got it from too uh, shout out to them uh, they made the transaction smooth especially right now because you know to buy these kinds of things right now that uh, a lot of people have been uh, panic buying so you know uh, some guns are out of stock and all that but you know everything went smoothly uh i'm grateful for the company the the website i worked with and the store chip too so everything went well so yeah like i said i hope this pandemic situation is going away soon hopefully fingers crossed as well as i hope all of y'all the viewers and my subscribers are doing well during this situation i know it can be a very stressful and if you have anxiety as well you know it can be lift up your anxiety pretty much but uh you know i hope everyone's being safe and like i said hopefully all this can go away soon so it can get back to a regular 
you know lives and you know for our channel here take this to the range but yeah so <clears throat> if you remember we did end up getting the bigfoot here and as you can see in the past video that we kind of bashed it a little too hard so what ended up happening was let me turn this around real quick the first video the screw that is in the this transfer case thing here made the engine go loose if you remember the last video so i fixed that on my own and what happened after was the screw had messed up the spur gear which is in here you know for those of y'all that know rc stuff and it grinded the teeth to it was it was kind of bad I, I didn't realize it till when we started running it and it started making a funny noise and then sure enough it wasn't shifting correctly so yeah so what ended up happening is i had to go run down to the hobby shop get a spare gear they replaced it for me and all that good stuff i have a spare one now as well so yeah that's what ended up happening and we got it all fixed up now so we're gonna go do some runs on it made a little makeshift ramp here and as you can see we found an old one of my old hummer h3s when you know those were a thing So yeah, I think I've had this thing since like, I think it was like 2006 maybe, 2007. It was one of my favorite remote control cars at the time. And as you can see, it's just been sitting here in the garage, has the flat tires and all. But yeah, so today we're going to do a thing. We're going to attempt to jump this thing over that thing, even though there's a huge skill difference there. But you know, sometimes you just got to... You just gotta wing it and say bring it on so that's what we're gonna do today so let's see how it goes So now that that's over with, I think we got like two or three, maybe good clean hits, you know, not flipping over, you know, the GoPro is okay. Got the hard shell case on for a reason. So we're all good on that. No worries there. But yeah, hopefully you like that. In the future, we'll get a taller ramp and jump other things. Uh, right now, you know, we're just kind of limited due to the pandemic going on right now. But hopefully you liked it hopefully you liked that unboxing video as well uh, hopefully we can take that handgun out shooting soon when it gets safer and all that as well as there is one more thing coming discussed in a previous video that i decided to get 
that may or may not be one of the two things that was in this video you know around that category but uh yeah hopefully you liked it if there's anything you'd like to see let me know always open to suggestions hopefully you enjoyed this video we'll see you on the next one